Scary Ritual Games You Should Never Try to Play Terrifying Games You Don't Want to Play Part 24 The Travel Man Game If you play this game correctly, the rewards could be great. But if you're greedy, you just might lose everything. To play this game, you will need to summon the mysterious Travel Man. To do this, you will need a candle or lantern and an empty household. You'll need to wait until night falls, light the candle, and go to your own front door. Next, you'll need to knock on the door three times while saying the words, Travel Man, Travel Man, come make me a deal. Finally, you'll need to repeat these steps every night for the next seven nights. If you follow these instructions carefully, on the seventh night you may be greeted by a well-dressed entity carrying a briefcase. This is the Travel Man. He will immediately open his briefcase and offer you an item of little value, such as an apple or a small sum of money. You can accept this item, ending the game and banishing the Travel Man, or you can decline. If you decline, he will offer you an item that is slightly more valuable and this process will continue until you accept his deal. However, be warned, with every item you decline, there is a chance he will accuse you of being too greedy and demand something from you instead. Your soul, or your life. Comment whether or not you would play this game, and follow for more. Terrifying Games You Don't Want to Play, Part 27 Speak No Evil If you have a strong willpower, playing this game could be quite rewarding. But be warned, the consequences for losing are high. To play the game, you will need something to write with, a match or a candle, and a shovel. Once you have acquired these items, you'll need to write down the words, I will speak no evil on the paper seven times. You will then need to burn that piece of paper and bury the ashes under a tree as the sun sets. It's very important that you remember exactly where you buried them. If you have followed all of the steps correctly, for the next seven days your house will be observed by a spirit who will test your willpower. You will need to remain silent for the entire week, no matter what happens. And if this sounds too easy for you, just wait, it gets worse. You will experience many personal tests throughout the week. For example, your crush might decide to call to ask you on a date. Or your boss may offer you a raise. But you'll need to remain strong and say nothing in response. If you remain strong, then at the end of the week you'll be able to talk again and there will be seven bags of gold hidden where you buried the paper. But if you mess up and speak even once, you will lose your voice forever. Comment whether or not you would play this game and follow for more. Terrifying Games You Don't Want to Play Part 20 The Tagman Ritual There is a great prize for winning this game, but if you lose, the consequences can be extreme. To play the game, you will need a candle, a large staff or stick, and a bag of marbles. Once you have acquired these items, you'll need to find a wooded area and wait until sunset. Next, you'll need to use your staff or stick to draw a circle in the dirt while saying the words, Tagman, come play a game. Next, you'll need to light the candle and let it burn for 10 seconds before blowing it out. This will summon the Tagman. Immediately after you blow the candle out, you'll need to start running for safety. Do not look back whatever you do. If you think that the Tagman is gaining on you, you can drop one of the marbles behind you and it may distract him for a couple of seconds, giving you time to escape. However, you'll need to be careful because this will only work three times, and the Tagman won't stop chasing you until you reach the safety of your home. If the Tagman cannot catch you, he will leave a bag of gold on your front doorstep as a reward for playing with him and a prize for winning. But if he catches you, you will never see your family or friends again. Comment whether or not you would play this game and follow for more. is vivid enough, eventually a woman wearing a white gown will approach you from across the room. This woman will ask you what the price of your love is and even begin to make you offers. However, it's very important that you don't respond until she offers you her crystal heart. As soon as she offers you the heart, you'll need to snatch it and take off your blindfold. 
Next, you'll need to hide the heart somewhere in your house and go to sleep. The bride will visit you sometime during the night to search for the stolen item. If you have seen it well and she can't recover it, then you will find your soulmate within one year of the incident. But if she does find it, Terrifying Games You Shouldn't Play Part 6 Sever the Cord There is a theory that when we look at a mirror, we're not actually looking at a reflection of ourselves, but rather an alternate dimension. Inside this mirror dimension there exists copies of us which mirror our moves. This game allows you to sever that cord. But be careful, the consequences of playing the game wrong could be dire. In order to play this game, you'll need to go into a room with a mirror, cover all the windows, and wait until nightfall. You'll need to turn off the lights and stare at the mirror until you truly believe that it is a copy of yourself instead of just your reflection. Once you have done this, you'll need to turn the lights back on. If your reflection is gone, you have successfully played the game. Now you'll just have to wait. Within a week, one of the copies will begin to decay until they pass away, while the other one will experience great joy and prosperity. But be warned, there's no way of telling which one you'll be before playing the game. Comment whether or not you would play this game and follow for more. Terrifying Games You Shouldn't Play Part 13 Ashes to Ashes If you play this game correctly, your greatest wish will come true. But if you're not careful, you'll lose something more valuable than your life. To play this game correctly, you'll need a piece of paper, a match or candle, and a room without windows. Once you have acquired all of these things, write down ashes to ashes along with your greatest wish on the piece of paper and light it on fire. Next, spread the ashes of the paper around you in a circle while saying the words, dust to dust, I've summoned you. Within the next 24 hours, you'll be visited by an entity known as the Dust Bunny. He will offer to make your greatest wish come true in exchange for your soul. When you turn down his offer, he will say, how about a game instead? If you've lost your nerve, this is the time to end things here. However, if you accept his proposal, he will disappear into thin air. The game has now begun. You will have 30 minutes to cover every window in the house. When the 30 minutes is up, you will hear a knock on the front door. Enter the room without windows and wait. The dust bunny will return at sunrise. If any sunlight is able to enter the house through the windows, you've lost the game and he will claim your soul. But if you have covered all of the windows thoroughly, the game has been won and your wish will come true. Comment whether or not you would play this game and follow for more. Scary games you should never play. This is the Candy Man. If you're brave enough to try to summon him, here's how. Put a candy bar in front of the mirror and chant his name five times. If you're unlucky, his figure will appear behind you and get you with his hook. His face is covered in bees and blood. Do you believe in the Candy Man? And have you summoned him? Let me know. Scary games you should never play. This is the Cat Scratch game. The game requires two players. Player one, lie your back on the floor with your head resting on player two's lap. Player two will recite one of these two stories while rubbing player one's temples. When player two has finished the story, stand up and pull up player one's shirt. Their back should be covered in red claw marks. Many swear that whatever scratched them was something much more sinister than just a cat. First game you should never play part 38. So this game is called Cat Scratch. This is a creepy game you can play with your friends. First you should lie on your back with your head resting on your friend's lap. Then while your friend is rubbing your temples he will recite one of two stories. You can find those stories online by searching the name of the game. When your friend is finished stand up and pull up the shirt. If it worked your back should be covered in red claw marks. It could be a cat ghost or anything else. What do you think it is?